I'm not going to because I don't want to die today. Do, 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 Cassidy Quinn. Hey guys, it's me, Cassidy Quinn. I'm back from outer space. And by outer space, I mean Italy. <laughs> I just wanted to quickly introduce this video before we get right into it because I think I'm splitting up my trip to Italy with my family, which was so, so wonderful, into three parts. Florence, our biking trip through Tuscany, and Rome. So this is part one. Flew to Florence, ate all of the foods, and let's get started. I made it to Italy, but you can't tell right now because it just looks like I'm in Portland. It's pouring rain, but I found mom and dad. Now we're hunting for lunch. Italian food, real Italian oh, food. I'm so excited. Oh my goodness. Dad, are you happy? I'm so happy. Italian meat and prosciutto. Mm -hmm. and, and his wine. And Barella wine. Barella Montecino. I might just die after all this food and all the bread. So happy. Max is here. Max is here. And it's his birthday. Oh my god, happy birthday. Yo, 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 what about me, what about me, what about me? There needs to be an Italian version of yo, yo, yo. Grazie mille, grazie mille, grazie mille. That's the one thing we've learned so far. My favorite thing so far is figuring out how to order coffee in Italy. Dad, what do you have? Cappuccino, I know what I'm Cappuccino. Max has a little mini espresso. Mom has chocolate. And it has coffee beans in it. Hmm, in a wine glass. Uh-oh, naked men. Oh, river. Do we know what this river is called? The river in Florence. <laughs> fiume Arno, Fiume Arno, Fiume Arno. The more you say it, the better your accent gets. I've decided that the entire city of Florence smells like cheese and bread. And I don't hate it at all. <laughs> There's a rainbow? Look at this knocker. <laughs> you have to have a set of knockers, so you have to show the other. Knocker. One knocker, two knockers. Look at those knockers. Oh my god, Dad! <laughs> yes, there are a bunch of designer, Italian, fancy, expensive shops like Gucci and I don't know, but where do we want to go? The 99 cent store. Oh look, a book of cats. Oh, we can have a salty party. <laughs> Would you like to have a salty party, Dad? Yeah, baby. <laughs> These are my favorite right. thing ever. This looks cool and very Italian. We're walking around and all of the street signs, mainly the do not enter red sign, they have people on them, like little stick figures. None of them have been crude. Like there's no inappropriate ones, so good job Italians. We're gonna be classy. It's cocktail hour. So this is Tuscan wine? Boscarelli, very small winery in Tuscany. Super Tuscan, happy birthday Max. Our super American. Hey, how baby, to our kids. Yeah. Rock and roll. Limoncello shots for Max's birthday. gelato hunt but mom has requirements for what gelato place we can go into mom what kind of gelato place do you hate those mountains gelato is just gross no mountains of gelato we just want reasonable portions of gelato side note we heard from an actual real life italian later in our trip that those gelato places that display the gelato in giant mounds are not good that is not authentic don't eat it so good job mom Look at it's all okay. the gelato, okay. but they're it's in okay. giant piles. Look at that, we found the perfect place. Mama's happy. But now I'm forced to make a decision, and that is the worst part of all. That is a spectacle, holy wow. Look at that. Thank you. Whoa. Coconut, dark chocolate. I'm very happy with my decision. Max, are you happy? Hazelnut and raspberry. I'm a little overwhelmed. <laughs> First full day in Florence. We're going into the Duomo. <laughs> Climbing up the Duomo. 25, 26, 27. Wow. 
tall artist in Italy to paint the ceilings. Yeah. I've decided I'm the perfect height do it at the, um, to be Italian because I don't have to duck under any of these low ceilings. <gasps> oh my goodness. There's a view for you. We made it to the top. Looks like a postcard. What do you think, Mom? I think it's pretty incredible. I think this is pretty amazing. Dad, what do you think? Eh, you know, no big deal. Look how tiny all the little people are down there. What is this, a Duomo for ants? Hey, Max, I have a joke. What do you call a lost dog in Florence? A Duomo. A Duomut. <laughs> What basketball team loves climbing up the Duomo? The Cavs. <laughs> we made it out of the Duomo. It was a dream come true. What's like? What's uh, the size of the pizzas? Cheers. Yeah. I've decided that Italy is the place that I should live because you come to any restaurant and they put olive oil and balsamic vinegar on the table. No, they don't put vinegar on the table. They always do olive oil and you dip the bread, but they don't put balsamic. Bologna, also Italian. <laughs> now we're going to Academia. Academia? We're getting smart. How do you say it correctly? We don't know. We're going to see Michelangelo Academia. and David. I think it's Academia. And David? The statue of David? Yeah. David. David. No. Um, these paintings are beautiful. And cute. Look at that painting. These ones are my favorite with the gold background. But I just want to touch them and feel if it's metal. Yeah, or what it bag. is. I'm not going to because I don't want to die today. Statua in computer. That means it's in a computer, right? Like digital sculpting? Holy moly. We found David. So this is how it goes in Florence. We walk around, it's nice out, it's warm out, it's sunny out, and then you see dark clouds start to come. And like two minutes later, it is pouring rain. A few moments later. Yep, it's pouring. Good thing we're almost back at the hotel. Oh my gosh, it's wet. These are the beautiful sounds of Florence you get to listen to at random points throughout the day. It's Max's favorite song. It's just chaos. I'm awake now. And that food coma was the end of my time in Florence. The next morning we set off on a wonderful biking trip through Tuscany and you'll get to see that next time. Thank you so much for watching and also for helping me through this tough time of readjustment into post-vacation life. Ciao! This is beautiful.